so here is an interesting comparison between biological algorithms and computing algorithms do biology has algorithms maybe we can say that because anything any steps necessary to perform some action uh, we can say it's an algorithm so here for instance we see this cell um, biological algorithm in a shape of this uh, replication problem so replication is where a dna sequence replicates on itself so for example here we have a parental dna strand right so we want to duplicate that so what happens here is uh, there are some proteins called as helicase and primase and single stranded dna binding proteins so they bind to the dna and then they unwind that so those two helices they get separated from one another and here we can see this blue which is actually a new dna strand that has been prepared uh, by the help of this enzyme called as dna polymerase so polymerase is there helicase is there there is a primase and we can see there are some single stranded dna binding proteins which are performing this replication task um, since this strand is prepared from 5 prime to 3 prime end and since the other strand is in opposite direction so this replication is actually interrupted so we call those small fragments which are prepared from here so actually in this strand this replication is going from here to here and then it ends up in the end so from here in this strand it continues so here it is interrupted so we call those fragments as okazaki fragments whereas this biological sequence problem in case of a computing algorithm it's really simple now let's see uh, how this complicated process in which we have lot of molecules and proteins um, how it can be treated in in the computers so dna replication problem in computers is simply a string duplication problem so as we have explained earlier that dna is a long string where we have those four variables so it's made up of a t g and c's and a replication is simply the duplication of that string so uh, what's the problem lies here given a string of letters return a copy so we have the input that is a string and uh, we can have strings of different lengths so we can have uh, lengths like n and then uh, what we want in the end is we can have a string um, that uh, represents the copies of the s of any any one of them of those sequences so here we have some sequences so the problem is we want to duplicate them so we can write an algorithm like this we can call we can name it as a string copy algorithm so string copy has two arguments s and n we put a for loop so we want this loop to be repeated from one to n times n is our requirement so how many times we want to repeat so we give a string and we want it to be uh, replicated 10 times so n is 10 in that case so for our loop we will have i1 into 10 and simply we want to have uh, a copy of that so every s we will pick and we will duplicate that so how many time it will replicate it will replicate depending upon the length of the loop and then in the end it will return us how many copies it has accumulated so this is very simple a replication in a computer so what we conclude from here that in biology uh, the processes are intensive the details are there but in computer we see that problem in a generalized perspective so computer science generality and abstractions are there and the approach is top to bottom whereas in biology what we see here is there is a bottom up approach so biologists has to go into look into the each details minute details uh, and and how those uh, different molecules they interact with uh, one another and that's true obviously at molecular level all those processes are going on but since we need to duplicate that thing on the computer so it's as simple as simply duplicating a string up to uh, whatever is required so there are some also differences between the approach of biologists and the approach of computer scientists that computer scientists they just uh, look into the peripheral or generalized picture of the situation whereas the for the biologists the details are necessary